Hello people, this is Power here to review the Ultraman's uh, DX Ultra Access card and Ultra Metal Celebro set. Yeah, because I think I mistitled the G one. Anyway, zooming back and grabbing this. So this is the, um, this got released around the same time as the G set because, um, they're related even though this one technically came out the week after, but I guess they just wanted to put them out at the same time. Anyways, this is the set consisted of the Kaburagi Shinya Axis card, or the Ultra Axis card Kaburagi, Kaburagi Shinya version. I, I find it weird that's what the Axis cards are named. And the Ultra, or actually, the Kaiju medals that we get out of this set consist of Belio, Gormra, and Red King. To make Skull Gormra. And then there's Belly on the back. So yeah. Um. <laughs> just because. He's able to do Kaiju fusions. In vain of the g Brizer, Because the only thing new. Is that you're adding Belly to the mix. So. Yeah. Let's just get this over with. It actually stayed there. So here we have the content out of the box. So let's move the metals onto the side and take a look at the Axis card to which here is Kaburagi Shinya because he's the only character I actually know the full name of. And here we have Celebro, which is really interesting overall. Obviously it's green. Here's Kaburagi's smug face, which I, I don't know why that makes me laugh. The fact that he was another Hibiki first and then he is in the show just makes me laugh even more. Um, it's very simple, I'll say. Obviously, because Celebro is just an alien. So, and I think the green's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, the, this is the different thing with the Kaiju um, access cards, or like the alien, um, access cards, is that the back of it is actually different, as they're pink? Gosh! <laughs> as they're purple? Um, and as you can see here, uh, you got Skull Gormra, and here's his stat, which he's apparently weak, and he's also wind. I understand because this is green, but I want to associate him with the wind. And here we have ZT003. So let's compare it with our previous access card. Uh, Riku. And as you can see here, I, I actually like this with all three of them. They actually... They are actually different in some capacity and such. So, there we go. And for the Ultra Medals, actually they're not Ultra Medals, they're Kaiju Medals this time. Because, um, as you can obviously tell, um, these are way different than the Ultra Medals because they have black rims, unlike red rims. Despite the first one we're looking at is Belial. Because for some reason, uh... In Zet, they're considering him a kaiju metal, which I understand why, as we're going to look into, but it's just weird. <laughs> but anyways, um, there's Belial. Um, he's going to have a purple LED. Then here's our actual first kaiju within the kaiju metals, uh, Gormora, which I, I like. He's going to have a yellow LED. And last but not least, Red King. Again, he is going to have a yellow OED. So it's interesting they gave us a set with um, kaijus with the same OEDs. Um, then again, they did that with Beta Smash. So, yeah. So obviously, like, kaiju medals still have the same silhouette as the Ultra, which I think is actually the first time they've done that this year. Because typically with um, 
whenever with like ultras and kaijus they always try to have them at different statures so like ultramen will like do like you know a specific heroic pose while kaijus would just do their normal thing but here they're actually at the same like they're just they're still just side profiles like so i actually like that so yeah here we go with the Zet Riser once again. I'm worried about that because that means the Zet Riser is dying despite the fact I just replaced its batteries after like a month. <laughs> so we're going to insert the Celebro card. As you can hear, we get a new standby. And as you can see from here, it's a green LED. Obviously, we're going to use the access card by itself first. Again, another new standby. So there we get that summoning sound that you're going to hear constantly and just Celebro. And uh, the slashing sounds are still the same. I'm not going to bother doing the whole thing. Finisher. So there's his finisher. Yeah, that's concerning. My Zet Riser is going to die at some point. <laughs> so um, we will actually take a look at Belial. So there's Belio. Obviously, um, they decided not to go for the sound they typically do or the use for Belio. They just, as I said before, like essentially, like there's a template, there's a typical kaiju template they have, and then they'll just have the sound of that kaiju. In this case, they just have Belio's, <laughs> so which I think is funny, especially because of how muffled it is. Okay, I really don't like that you're doing that. <laughs> so the finisher. You don't even have Belial's finisher at all. It's just, <laughs> just celebral sounds. I also really apologize if you cannot see the purple LED. It's getting washed out by my lights. I don't even know if I can fix it in the post. Okay, so now I'm going to use Gormora and Red King in here. So there, as you can hear, it's the same formula. Just have the grunt, or just have the or cries of the kaijus. I forgot to mention too. Uh, so the unfortunate thing is that because uh, the unfortunate thing with like metals that 
have a yellow LED. Because it's shining through a blue plastic dome, it's going to emit green. <laughs> so, it's really hard to tell like if it's supposed to be yellow or green. But obviously from the metal, it's clearly supposed to be yellow. But it just doesn't really show up that well. Anyways. Anyways. Time for us to do a... Technically a fusion rise because we're oops <laughs> because we're doing essentially the same method as we did with Orb where we have him here but just with kaijus. So there we succeed with our fusion rise with Belial Skull Gormra. Which for some reason I don't understand why it just only just announces Skull Gormra while like in the G riser it announces Ultraman Belial Skull Gormra. Like I think it's because they just they don't acknowledge that from I don't know. <laughs> Cause I I think Taiga touched on this too. And I, that's another series I didn't finish. I'm very behind with my shows. I'm a year behind. Um, so I was you can do a finisher. That's it. I think that was directly carried over from the G Prizer. I wouldn't know. Um, other than that, there's not really much else we can do. Um, if you try to use an Ultra, so zero. It airs out. So, um, if we try to actually use a Ultraman and just use a Kaiju, so in case Belial. That also airs out. So this is the first year where we can't technically interchange our like gimmicks because obviously that's typically the case. Well, obviously just because, you know, just because it's all like one like system but obviously because we're working with like three different systems um it's just like it's interesting that this year they decided to like lock like ultraman specific stuff and kaiju specific stuff however uh for you know i don't know how to word this however uh you can still do Kaiju combinations that were present beforehand. For example, we can take Ultraman and take Belial, and with Jeed, it will actually scan through. We can make G primitive within the two Ultra Metals. And like, you know, like you can be like, well, it's just, it's just the same thing. Well, the only difference is that now the color combination is red and purple instead of just red off of the Axis card. And just to show the finisher, why are you doing this? The finisher is exactly the same. Just a different light combination.
just had to do that to prove this is purple. <laughs> and uh, speaking of Belial, uh, there's another, there's, this is the only other fusion, or like, other combination you can do, which if you take zero. You can make zero darkness. I can be wrong. Because I don't remember what the GD Riser did. I think this is the first toy that actually gave him his finisher. Because I'm pretty sure the Orb Ring did not have its fin his finisher. But yeah, that's essentially it for this. So overall, what I think about this set is that it's not as like robust as the Jeed set. For obvious reasons, Jeed opened up a bunch of possibilities with us. While with this set, it's like, it unlocks our ability to use kaiju metals fully because we can't use them for the two access cards we have, which, yeah, that makes sense. I don't think that's really like a nitpick. I just wish Belial was, you know, able to because now he doesn't have his two sounds he would typically have because he's locked under a kaiju. But, um, at the same time, it's just, like, there's not really much to do with it, sadly. You just get the, like, obviously with kaijus, they always kind of cut short from them, just because there's really not a lot you can do with them. But, just, that's just the reality. So, it's just, like, you know, it's the typical, okay, here's the summoning sound of the kaiju, here's the roar, and then here's their roar again, and then a generic attack. Which is just, again, like, I can't really blame them necessarily. I just kind of wish, like, they actually, like, I guess I, I can say this. <laughs> just because, like, th these are the only DX, like, kaiju medals we're getting. And I just kind of wish they actually gave us more. Because, it, you know, it's just like, I feel like it's actually kind of lacking. Or the Zedvisor is actually kind of lacking without a lot of Kaiju Metals. Especially because, you know, with Belial, you can do all of his Fusion Rises. Or, like, the two he did. Like, his base three. I don't think you can do his other, like, three nor his Fusion Rise ones. Because they're not even bothering releasing those Kaijus. So it's just like... That's kind of like the selling point of this is like, oh cool, I can do Belial's Fusion Rises. But it's just like, after that, it's just like, well, what other Kaiju Fusions do you have that are not for spoiler cases? So it's just like, I just wish that they actually prioritize Kaijus more in this line. Because it's really weird that they're not. Because I thought Taiga actually did a good job at like prioritizing the Kaijus. But other than that, um, despite like how lackluster, quote unquote lack, lackluster, like this set is compared to the Jeet set, it's still one of the harder sets to get. <laughs> like this along, like this, like this is going through the same thing that the Jeet set is going through, that this thing sells for like 15 to like $25, which is just not worth it. Again, I got this for nine dollars. At best, I technically, yeah, I technically paid, not me necessarily, but like I technically got this for like two dollars more than what it's supposed to be. But honestly, I'm like, like I'm way happier than how much I got it for than like how much it's selling for right now. Cause oh gosh, <laughs> so yeah, that's essentially it. Like 
you're going to need this set just to be able to read the kaiju medals, which I just feel like it's kind of lackluster. And, like, I guess the spoilers too, there's not really, like, a lot of kaijus that you can actually use within, like, the ultra heroes. So it's just, that just kind of sucks too. But other than that, uh, that's really it for this review. So this is Power Order, and I'll leave you people. Bye.